Welcome, attractive and well-educated watchers, to one of the coolest games on the internet, despite not being very exciting. This is Stellaris, and we've created an entirely new species for all of you, just to, you know, figure out how it all is going to go on. Because we haven't played in a couple months, and there's this brand new, super big update coming out. So, well, let's come out already. So, let's try to just jump on into it, as Philly D says. So first of all, we've got this guy. We've already done all the uh, the designing and everything, so you guys don't have to deal with that. This guy right here is, what did we call him, Bud Hawthorne? <coughs> They're part of Obscuil, which is a uh, new species we made. They're a plant people. They have very human names. They are a hive-minded, very slow-breeding, but venerable species. With living ships, because, you know, they're plants, obviously. They live a long time. And they obviously have living ships, because, once again, they're plants. And it kind of always creeps us out whenever they all slurp down into it and then come back out. But it's cool. They're like a sundew plant people. <laughs> they come from the Cascadian world of Oregonia. Oh, yeah. Bet you don't, bet you don't know where we got that one from. Uh, which orbits the star Enciliad. We don't know what that system's gonna look like, but we're sure it's gonna look cool. They, of course, have a plantoid city. They are a hive mind with one mind and a natural neural network that allows them to research even faster. And we have, for this particular uh, game, we're using the Futurama mod. Ever since man first left his cave and met a stranger with a different language and a new way of looking at things, the human race has had a dream. To tell him, so we don't have to learn his language or his new way of looking at things. Damn straight, Zap Brannigan. Yeah, he'll be our announcer for most of this time. It's called the Obscure Collective, and they, you know, their adjectives are just obscure. Uh, we've got this cool flower, and this purplish-red background, and a green field. That's cool. Uh, we decided the fungoid ships look cooler. And Bud Hawthorne is this guy's name. It'll probably live forever, but it doesn't matter. We're a hive mind. We don't get angry and stuff like that. So here we go. <coughs> we have a Gestalt Consciousness. One natural neural network. One mind. All that good stuff. We think uh, we think we're ready. We think we're uh, ready to do this. Let's let's dive on, and we want a gigantic galaxy. Truly enormous. Uh, yeah, elliptical is easiest. AI empires, we don't really care, uh, nor do we care if anything is eligible for achievements. But let's put it down to 12. Uh, let's have one super badass ahead of everybody else. Let's... We don't care about fallen empires. We'll say four fallen empires. Um, uh, randomize the marauder empires. Tech tradition cost will just be one. Habitable world's maximum. Primitive civilization's maximum. We just like that kind of stuff. Crisis strength. Um. Okay. Victory year. Some ridiculous time in the future. We don't, we don't know. We're not really paying terribly much attention. Um. Uh, scaling difficulty. Yeah, whatever. Empire placement random, advanced neighbors off, hyperlane density, who cares, abandoned gateways, oh fuck no, uh, wormhole pairs, sure, uh, guaranteed habitable world to Iron Man mode, we don't care because it's not what this game is about, we're just fucking around with you guys. Starting new game. This will be exciting. It's pretty exciting that we, it, it started... Like, normally it takes, like, half a minute to initialize, and it only took, like, three seconds to initialize this time. That's why we had that slow start there. We were like, oh, shit, we're in the middle of taking a dab right now. Uh, uh, whatever. Just go with it, Dag. If you really need to, you can edit that out. No, we are not gonna, probably not going to edit that out. And so, at the dawn of time, we awoke. The mind studied our surroundings on Oregonia with a multitude of eyes. We moved as one, building shelters for the drones, developing industry, researching new technologies, and harnessing the resources of the land. Soon, we had grown to encompass the entire world. 
a small number of autonomous drones were created to serve as independent agents. These were formidable drones, more formidable drones, had the capacity for limited free thought, but were still as inexorably bound to the will of the mind as any other of its other instruments. We, as we achieved complete dominion over Oregonia, the mind became aware of other worlds, orbiting other suns. The most intelligent of our autonomous drones devised new methods of travel, enabling us to cross the vast distances between the stars. The Obscure Collective will soon grow. Now, our goal here, actually, is to kind of deal on this one tall for a bit until we get the ability to make ourselves better and change the entire species. Uh, change all guaranteed habitable worlds from the ideal class to random planets within the same category. Uh, sure, let's randomize it. Why the fuck not? We can dig it. All right, let's uh, let's see. Nice. Okay, you got some new stuff. Ooh. You like that. Huh. Yeah, let's do this one. We think that one's kind of objectively the better one right now. Pump our physics a bit more. Uh, what do we got here? Biodiversity studies is always nice. Mmm, gene mapping, though. Because, uh... That's gonna give us what we want eventually. Nano machines. Wow, they really have changed it up a little, haven't they? Okay, so we're really inclined to just take these right here. In fact, I think that's what we're gonna do. All right, so we undoubtedly have a science ship. Pretty much every time we get a science ship. We just have it. Oh, we have a... We got a cute little uh, system here. What are, what are your minerals? Okay, that's nice. Interesting hyper lane uh, layout. So generally what we do is we just use the shift button, right click on all of these, and then survey anything nearby, just to say we did. We also do this kind of like autopilot thing, just so we don't really have to worry about it as much. We'll actually have this poor guy loop around. Oh. Are we not allowed? Okay, well. There you go, guys. We're, we're not allowed. It's putting its foot down. Uh, well, the whole brief said that it's all about, we like that we come from a binary system of all places. Let's go to Oregonia. They say they don't have, yeah, they don't have buildings anymore. They have this whole new silly system. Districts. Tech drones produce energy credit based on product. Well, it's... oh, do we gotta? Okay. Hive core maintenance depots, research labs, brain drones. Alloy foundries, spawning pools. We guess it's. Yeah, yeah, that's where our. We. No, we can't. Whatever. Okay, so we grow pops and then we get buildings. No, we did not do the tutorial. We so seldom do. What's this do? Synapse drones turn energy credits, food, into unity and society research.
Right now, our really big problem is that we want to make... Make more energy, not use more energy. That's, that's fine. We're still learning this, guys. We can... We'll do this together. Oh, what's that? Alright. Alright. Let us just continue on that. Nice. Need some of those. Me store ship. Please make more energy for us. And you can probably leave that. We are we are smooth sailing with those energy credits. Alright guys, sorry to take so long. Let's go fastest. What's this? A mangrove world. Dune world, not so great. But mangrove world. Wet planets are where it's at. That's the dune world. Nobody cares. Wise guy, huh? A wise guy, huh? Well, it's already looking pretty nice. We are in a pretty standard location in the galaxy. Maybe even an ideal one. Oh, <laughs> cool stuff. Design your uh, ports now. Defense platform, huh? Interesting. Components. Survey already done. Survey already done. Four vets. What's that? Vanquishing Bion Armada. We have Unity. We got the discovery of alien life, the OCBS Boral Boromalis, Boralomus, sorry, has made a startling find on Vait 4A. The moon is teeming with alien life. For the first time in history, we have encountered life forms that did not originate on Oregonia. This amazing discovery has silenced those who believe we are alone in the universe. Although none of the alien creatures found on Vait 4A are sapient, it is likely only a matter of time before we encounter beings that are. Mm, ah, most excellent. Nice. Uh, pause. All right, guys, let's let's choose this. We generally are inclined to your discovery. Sensing tendrils. However, discovery isn't the one that, or no, is that a automated, automated searching or whatever? Is that a different one? Fuck it. We really like the uh, research potential. Yes. Discovery. Alright. Let us continue. Not as great a place as we had hoped. Mangrove world is pretty nice. We suppose. Interesting that they still have blockers, but we don't have tiles anymore. Weird. Oh! Look at that! A Gaia world next door! 
Might as well be like home. How big is it? Gotta be honest, we don't actually know. Oh, it's 16. Okay, so it's not huge, but... But it's nice. Well, that clenches that. We build a starbase outpost right here and claim this system as our own. It doesn't matter if it has somewhat shitty resources, it has a world for us to expand to. See, any good species knows that it's a two-planet species. It's too much of a, a contingency to not have an insurance plan. What do you got? Agrarian upbringing. Okay, sure. Gained a level. Okay. I mean, we think that sort of clinches it. It's time. It's time for a colony ship, guys. It wasn't our plan, but when a Gaia world comes knock, knockity, knocking on your door, you gotta do it. You just gotta jump on it, guys. It's a Gaia world right next door. That's like us jaunting on over to uh, Proxima Centauri and finding a world that maybe isn't exactly like ours, but across the board all of the needs are met perfectly, all of the above. Perfect oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide percentage ratios, excellent 75%, 72 to 75% uh, land or uh, water, water coverage, you know, it, it'd have to be great. And you know what? We would throw our people at that first fucking thing. But that's what this is. So that's what we're doing. We're throwing our people at it. First fucking thing. We we had not planned for this, but let's go. Let's let's do this. This is this is the ultimate good start. We just now realized that we're paused. Sorry. We recovered an artifact from an ancient alien civilization on Gidzarak 6. Incredibly, incredibly, this civilization, which apparently referred to itself as the Cybrax. Oh, jeez. Age of Artifact 600,000 years ago. Nice, a uh, precursor. Really? Yeah, really, Zap. It's true. Confirmed the first material traces of intelligent alien life on a foreign world. Remarkable. Detected the presence of a primitive alien proto-civilization on Gidzarak 4. Damn, son! In the Gidzarak system, obviously. Probes show that their Neolithic culture has mastered fire. A Neolithic culture. Nice! Developed a rudimentary spoken language, but we have yet to see any evidence of metallurgy or written communication. We should consider it well, we will consider building an observation post. That's like the next thing on our fucking list. Uh, confirmed the existence of primitive alien culture. Yet to develop an FTL, handicapped as they are by their fragmented individuality. Poor guys. They just can't even. Right. Crystalline caverns. Nice. Most excellent. We can get rid of some active volcanoes. Wondering about our... Um, colony ship's almost done. 
unemployed pops. Yeah, that's right. You know, we have more than enough minerals to make that kind of energy credit. Remarkable. Oh, what do we got here? Resonance imaging of the H4956 asteroid suggests an internal composition com consisting of rare crystals. That's okay. We have the time. And we have the technology. Just do it. So, where's our... Yeah, we have our colony ship now. Colonize that planet. We'll call it... Actually, yeah, sure. Let's call it Vate Prime. Why not? <laughs> Build this star base right here. Make sure that these dirty savages get... Oh my god, they have crude huts. Stone Age people. Uh, oh boy. Crime's down, at least. <laughs> they have no concept of building things yet. What, Gaia? Oh yeah, you know what. Already? Wow. Good, Good on news, you. everyone! Good news, everyone! Mapping the genome has been established. Oh, boy, we, we do hope, uh... Oh, we do like unity. We also just like studying faster. Uh... We think unity. We really want to rock the unity train on this one. I'm gonna build an observation post over this bad boy. See if we can't aim these people in the right direction. That being the, you know, hive minded direction. Well, here they go. They're gonna colonize the shit out of this planet. This beautiful little Gaia world here with. Practically no blockers. What, Gaia? Oh yeah, you know what? Oh, nice. Alright. Oh, you know it. The orgy pit has definitely been scraped and buttered. Colonizing the shit out of this planet. In the meantime... Survey speed... Ah, uh, ooh. Yeah, we're gonna say sensing tendrils. Gotta look outward. Alright, so this is a whole bunch of new stuff, actually. So, we'll start with... What, what do we got, um... Oregonia, contact, situation log, policies. Here, that's what we want. Native enlightenment, absolutely allowed. Uh, first contact policy, generally peaceful. Dietary balance, balance per day. Yeah, okay. Initial border status. Eh, whatever. Unrestricted, okay. Native interference already. Indiscriminate bombing programs. Unrestricted wars. We don't... Plants are brutal. We don't fuck around. If you didn't know. Claim species. I don't even know what these guys are down here. Let's try this again. How do we do this? We have unrestricted. We don't have gene tailoring yet. 
darn. Oh, they're not even in the industrial age yet. All right, all right. So we need to get Gene Taylor Inc. and bring them up. Yeah, okay, we, we'll do that. Eventually, we'll bring them up, but for now, they'll just have to sit around and hit each other with rocks and shit. We don't care. Empire Sprawl. On that note. Oh, what do we got? Hollow core lined with industrially valuable crystal like a giant geode. Sweet! Oh, what's this? OCBS Baralomus has discovered a previously unknown strategic resource on H4956 dubbed the Rare Crystals. The crystals lend themselves well to both high-end electronics as well as laser weapon systems thanks to their spectacular refractive properties. We do not yet possess the means to extract it. We should seriously consider establishing control of that system. Yeah, we should. Also... Nice. Oh, not enough. Oh, only 14 districts. Got it. What don't we have? Sentinel port posts. Do we have a research lab? We do. We have alloy foundries. We think the synaptic node is the one that we're gonna say do it. Decisions. Cease drone production. Hell no. Honestly, we we don't really know what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, okay, sure, whatever. Hey guys, how are you doing? On your little planet. These, these people, they, they really are just the cat's pajamas. They're really just uh, the true pioneers here. Heroes of the hive mind. Yeah, you're the one of the rare crystal, right? Go here. Just go here. I don't know what next would imply, like next month or next year. Whatever, that's something we're not gonna fuck with right now. Nice, much better. Building slot available. Oh, it, it will, will be taken over. Survey already done. Actually, we want food, not uh, not mine stuff. We have plenty of minerals. Shield of bark, nice. We don't need to assault anybody yet. Stone Age Primitives. Yeah, we definitely don't want that. Gotta get to that gene tailoring so we can bring them into the hive mind. Only way you, we can do it. With our tiny little section of the galaxy. We can still do some serious cool stuff. Technology. Somebody leveled up. Congratulations. Soon. Nanomechanics.
soon. Quantum theory. Remarkable. Remarkable. Gotta be honest, we don't know what he was going after. Okay, what do we want, guys? I don't really need more minerals. <laughs> Improved Corvette holes looks nice. But frankly, we're kind of thinking more on the coil gun aspect. Because coil guns are another form of weaponry, and that's good. More advantages. Mega Starbase. Hua! We're just cranking out that unity. We like that. Fire systems and fire sprawl. Good news, everyone! Nice. That is good news. And so is this. Very important that you get that automatic exploration out early. It'll really just make your day. Yeah, quite a wise guy. Research station output or leader hyperadaptivity. Definitely the research station output. Now we will learn better and faster. Why, guy, huh? You know how it is. We don't make any excuses for ourselves. Oh, are we already done there? Sure, build mining stations instead. We're just the best negligent player out there. There's a cute little pocket. Building mining stations. All that good shit. We think here, we're stable. Here, we're ready. Oh my god, we're gonna get attacked! Ah, no. <laughs> good news, everyone! Wow, that's exactly the opposite of what we said. Thanks, Professor. Alright, what should we get? We suppose whatever keeps us on the up and up. So this is probably the one we're going to choose. Since nothing upgrades into anything. Yeah, we think we're good here. We think we're ready to wrap up this Let's Play. Congratulate ourselves and you guys for... Wait, an alien barracks? The silhouettes discernible from orbits are indeed buildings, and closer inspection reveals them to be of an obvious martial nature. While abandoned for some time, though very recently, an intergalactic time scale, on an, an on a galactic time scale, science officer Rowan Bloom believes that secrets of alien tactics may yet be exhumed from beneath the dust that covers the decaying barracks and looted armories. A special project may be issued to study the remains. Ooh, really, really indeed. Whoops, wrong one. We want our situation log. Alien barracks. Go to. Research that. And next time, guys, we'll get to see exactly what it might be. Congratulations. We popped in. We popped out just in time. Have a great night. Remember to like and subscribe if you like Solaris.